Welcome back to the second episode of the Visual Bucket Studio Tutorials. Yay! Um, if you hear Minecraft running in the background, it's because Minecraft's running in the background because I'm still figuring out all this stuff. So today we're going to go over event listeners in the plugin components, and we're also going to go over the if statement. So that way you can like really get deep into, hey, only this situation can happen. So first we're going to go to event listener. So what an event listener is, it's anything in game that can be picked up. So thing, I mean, if you go through all of the different events, vehicle exit, there's like Payer, player take lectern book you know there's tons of different ones pig zap you just need to go through and look at all of them but today we're just going to go over a couple of them that how they're useful so the first one we're going to do is we're going to do a block break event so when a block breaks we want something to happen we're going to first start with our if statement so if change the condition instead of a boolean instead of it being like a true or false we're going to actually go to equals utility is equal so if object one is equal to object two, then we want you to run this code. The first object, we want to say, hey, if the block that broke is dirt, we just want to send a message right now. First thing we're gonna do is get uh, material. Let's see what, what shows up. Block data, get material. The block data of what block? We're going to first need to get block data. Get block data, here we go from the block, get block data of what block, we're going to say the block that we break in game. So uh, block break event, get block. So if you go here and click on all these question marks, it'll actually tell you, hey, this is gets the block involved with the event block break. So then this is gets the complete block data for this block. And you just keep going down and all of the stuff makes sense. So now we are on the material. So we got the material. So let's go in here and just say the material is, we'll do stone. If you just scroll down, all of these are materials, cobblestone, redstone, smooth stone. There we go, just regular stone. So if block data get material, of what block, of what block data, the break a block, the break, the block break event, there we go, is equal to material stone, then we keep going. One way, here, here's a trick real quick. If you right click and you press pin, it'll actually put this stuff in your pinned area up here. And if statements is gonna definitely be something we want. So right now we just wanna test it out. So we're gonna go broadcast, broadcast a message. And we're going to actually pin this one too because we use broadcast message a lot. We want to right click and say insert string. We want to broadcast the message. This is stone. And then we build it and then go test it out. Okay, so now that we are back in our Minecraft world, we're, we're in creative now. Let's come down here to a bunch of stone. We're going to go to slash reload confirm. It's now reloaded and when we hit the stone, it says, yes, this is stone. But then when we break dirt, it does not say this is stone. It says nothing. Works awesome, great job. So now we can actually use that. So instead of just broadcasting something, we're gonna actually use that to, well, let's go find out. So I said we're going to find something to do and I think we should do something like speed. So let's, do, the, the, we're gonna load up. We're gonna give people speed when they break a stone. We're gonna go add a potion effect right there to a living entity. Add potion effect, what living entity? We're going to do, uh, we're going to get the living entity of block break event get player there we go and we're going to give them the potion effect of uh, speed duration right click we're going to go for five seconds and then the amplified we're going to do something like the, ampl the amplifier we're just going to go with speed two for five seconds every time they break one piece of stone. All right, let's build it and see if it works. Okay, so we are now back in Minecraft. We're gonna reload confirm and we're actually gonna go time set day real quick. So that way we're not in the dark. All right, so this should, after we break this stone, give us speed two for, it was not five seconds. Oh, and my Minecraft just broke. Technical difficulties. Give me one second. There we go. I got it. Uh, so I have, I have my my hotkeys set up wrong, and so I ended up going out of the wrong screen. But it's okay. So let's do this again. When we click on it, we get speed for just a second. I think instead of the duration being in seconds, I'm pretty sure it's in game ticks, and there's ten ticks in a uh, there's twenty ticks 
in one second. So let's go change that real quick. Boop. All right, so let's try this again. We're gonna go slash reload, confirm. We're gonna go break some stone. And look at that. I set it to three seconds and now we get speed two for three seconds. Oh, it happened again. I gotta change that hotkey. But like we break stone and we now have speed two for three seconds and then it stops. But that's the way that this works and it's real, real useful and nice and easy because you can just take anything, any of those, the block selectors Put them on events, and then you can make all sorts of crazy things happen. So let's go do uh, another one. All right, so let's do another one. Instead of block break, we're going to... Oh, wrong button. We're going to just add another event listener. Okay, this one, let's do something like if you throw an egg and it hits a block, that block changes to something like gold. Okay, so let's do a projectile, hit event, and we're gonna go to our if statements. We're gonna go over to equals, so utility equals. So we're gonna say if the first object needs to be what the projectile is. If projectile, let's go, uh, let's go with projectile hit event. If the entity is equal to a string, there, let's do, let's do an egg. Okay, so we're gonna go down here to raw string, and the raw string for an egg is actually craft chicken. I know it's strange, but here's the way that, that I figured that out. So you just come up here and you do broadcast message. Instead of broadcasting a message, you're going to go to projectile, hit event, get entity. Every time that an, a, a projectile hits the ground, we're actually going to get the entity and make sure that the entity that we're getting is craft chicken. Let's go build it and test it out. So I realized after I reloaded the plugin that I don't think that I put anything if the projectile actually is a chicken's chicken chicken egg so we're just gonna reload it and uh, see if we can get just like an egg to tell us hey what kind of projectile are you so if we throw an egg oh it's craft egg oh okay so i was wrong so i gotta go put craft egg instead of craft chicken all right let's go fix that all right so let's change this from craft chicken to craft egg Awesome. Okay, so this time we want to. So we're gonna do block set type. When we do set type, the block state. Uh, I don't think that's it. Let's go see if we can find another one. Just block instead of block state. Here we go. Set set type. Here we go. Set type block and type. So the block we want to do the projectile. Let's see if it just has it. Projectile hits event. Get the block. So we want that block to be set as material gold. Uh, let's do a gold block. Here we go. When we throw it, we're going to, let's get rid of this block into C. When a, when a projectile hits, it's going to run through an if statement. So if, if that projectile hits the ground and the projectile entity is the same as craft egg, we want where the block hits to turn into a gold block. Right, let's go see if this works. Okay. So let's see if that worked. We're going to go reload, confirm. We're going to throw an egg and it didn't do anything. Reload confirm, just to make sure that it actually took. And it does not work. All right, let's go see what we did wrong. Okay, so I think I know what we did wrong. Instead of block, we need to say location. Oh my goodness. <laughs> After... Not a little bit amount of time, I finally got it. So I can throw an egg, and whatever block it hits turns into gold. Oh, yes. So let's go see how I did it. So this is how I ended up having to do it. So I thought that the whole problem was this was this set type block, all of this stuff. But come to find out, I had to do object to string in order to have this string here. If you're going to do it this way, make sure that you put object to string before you put anything on here. But I think I can actually, if I delete both of these and I... Oh, I guess you can't. So, I lied. Pretend I didn't say any of that. I thought that you could do something in this version that you couldn't do in other ver versions egg in case anyone was wondering and so then the set block 
you can set the type of what block it's the projectile hit block and setting it to a gold block and it works works really well took me a little longer than than i would like to admit but i finally got it all right, so let's move on to the last thing. So the last event listener that we're going to do today is we're going to do like an animal that died. Let's go entity death. Entity death event. So if change the boolean to equals, change the first object to... Uh, we're going to just go ahead and say object to string. So now we have a string. So then we can just type the name of the, of the event entity that died. So let's just go into what object is going to be the entity death. Get entity of the entity death. And then now we're going to do a string. And we're going to start with a raw string. There it is. And let's just say chickens because i'm liking chickens right now so craft chickens craft chicken and if you didn't know that it was going to be craft chicken you can just take your broadcast message and then say entity death event get entity and so then it'll actually tell you what exactly you need to write in the string so if the chicken dies we're going to say we're going to change the loot table um So we're going to go to, uh, what else can we do? Oh, look, there's Minecraft rain. I'm going to mute that real quick. So I'm just going to go through all of these and see if I can find one that I would like to use. Um... <laughs> world drop item. In what world? The same world as get world of entity. What entity? We're going to do the entity of entity. Entity, entity block, here we go. Entity damage, entity death event, location. We're gonna go um, entity location, get location of entity, entity death event. And uh, what item and item stacks are we gonna do? Um, a new item stack of material. Um, let's do like a diamond just to be funny. Cause that's so funny. Ha 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 ha. So this little icon right here actually changes what aspects of the item stack you want. So we can actually say material and number. So if we wanted to do diamonds, we can actually say, Hey, I want you to drop exactly 16. We're going to do 10 diamonds just to make it easy on math. And then we can build it. And every time we kill a chicken, it's going to drop 10 diamonds at that spot. Minecraft's being loud again. I think I already time set day and uh, weather clear. There we go. So we said if we kill a chicken, so let's go into here and let's get some chicken eggs. And then we're going to just get another eight sword just so we can kill them nice and quick. Okay, so let's spawn a chicken. We spawn a chicken in and they, let's, let's apparently not spawn him there. Spawn a chicken here and when we kill him. He drops, not that, because I didn't reload. <laughs> reload confirm. I can, I can Minecraft, I promise. Here we go, one more time. Let's place a chicken and kill it and kill it and kill it. There we go. And we got 10 diamonds when we killed him. So now when we do it again, we should get 20 diamonds. Bang, look at that. And so now, now you can use if statements for all of this stuff. Let's go back into... Our, our testing, our test project. And you can do this for all sorts of things. So instead of when you kill a chicken, you do this, you can say, hey, if you kill 10 chickens, every 10 chickens that you kill, you can have the chicken actually drop a diamond instead. Thank you for watching today's video. Um, this was a, this was a little more difficult one. Oh, this was a little more difficult one. I, I didn't know everything going directly into it. I knew that I was able to do all of this stuff. I just still have to engineer and learn as I go. So thank you for watching and, and bearing with me while I do all this stuff. I'm going to do self-promotions at the end of videos instead of at the beginning. So if you enjoyed and you actually found some help in this and you're actually able to create your own plugins from this, please consider liking and subscribing. Let, let me know that you want more videos like this and you want to be able to walk through it and be able to, to, you know, struggle through all this stuff. Soon I'm going to start streaming on Twitch and eventually, real soon, I've got a secret...
project I've been working on, and I these these the server that I'm on um, may soon be able to be played on. Uh, and we're making we're making all sorts of new plugins. I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun just being being able to to program and you know make all these plugins with you guys. So thanks for watching. Bye.